We're looking at somewhere in the range of uh, two to four inches with uh, tomorrow's system coming through. Uh, a nice band of precipitation looks like uh, we'll be moving through the Missoula and Bitterroot area tomorrow afternoon into the evening. And, yeah, we're expecting uh, around that two to four range for the for the whole area. Now, are, is that primarily for the valleys or just the mountains or just the, the entire area? That's for the valleys. For the mountains, uh, it could be uh, quite a bit more than that, maybe more in the four to eight inch range uh, as far as as far as the Bitterroots and Sapphires. Okay. Tell me about the passes, like uh, Lolo, Lost Trail, and Homestake passes. Uh, what will they be seeing? Yeah, they could be seeing a little bit more than the valleys. Uh, where it could be closer to the three- to six-inch range for them at, at Lolo and especially uh, Homestake Pass. All right. Now, how about temperatures? Is, is it going to be extremely cold, Lance? The cold air is going to follow the, the snowfall and it will get quite cool. Wednesday morning could actually be the coolest night after the sky's clear and um, we're able to to cool off. So about how cold do you think it's going to get, just ballpark? Oh, as far as temperatures go? Yeah. Yeah. Um, So Tuesday Tuesday morning, we're looking here in Missoula and Bitterroot Valley, somewhere around 5 to uh, maybe pushing low teens in the Missoula area. Okay. All right. How about high temperatures? Uh, on Tuesday, we have temperatures in the mid twenties for highs, and then it gets cold again Wednesday morning. Uh, single digits for for most of the Bitterroot and Missoula Valley, and then high temperatures on Wednesday actually warm up into the thirties. So it'll be a quick warm up after the after the cold shot, but there could be low wind chills after the snow comes through.